Okay, in today's video, we're gonna paint a chromed wheel. So you can't just paint on it and, you know, put it on your car and be done. You gotta prep it properly. Now, with this wheel here, it's in, it's in great shape. There's no rust, it's in great condition. If you have one that has some rust, you know, around the edges or, you know, where the lug nuts go or what have you, look down below in my description. I have a video on how to get rid of that rust where we actually use a tool like this with a wire wheel where we literally blast that rust off this does the best job so check that video out but once you're ready to paint um, then this is your perfect video so what we got here is we have the prep on this side products that you're gonna need and then the paint on that side so quite simply we're gonna rough up the surface I've got some um, you could use like 200 this is 320 grit in two different, different styles I have a scotch bright to rough it up to after that. And then you must prime. You have to prime chrome wheels. Not just any primer, you need an epoxy primer. This one, it's uh, where you gotta mix it. When I take the cap off, I gotta put the cap here and then mix two products together. So I got 48 hours to use this paint um, on these wheels. Then, once we've done that, we get to the painting stage. And what I like to use is the Duplicolor. This is called the um, the Graphite. So you can see right there, make sure you get Graphite. They have Hyper Silver, uh, but to me the Graphite's a little darker. It even gets darker when you put the final gloss on it, believe it or not, this will actually darken them up and it protects them. And then your wheels will look beautiful for years to come and you can power wash it. I mean, this, this paint is meant for wheels. So, um, I've seen a lot of videos. I think this one will be helpful for you because I've seen videos where people have a paint booth and they have spray guns. That's not a do-it-yourself. That's if you have a shop. This video is really for the do-it-yourselfers like me where you just want to freshen up the wheels. You know, in chrome, I mean, that was cool back in the 90s and early 2000s. You know, old trucks look good with chrome, but, you know, newer vehicles, and this is from a Land Cruiser, an early 2000 model. Um, yeah, time to get rid of that chrome. So, as far as sanding, pretty simple. You don't have to go too crazy. You're just going to go over the whole wheel, every nook and cranny, right? You get the idea, but I'll do the whole wheel. Then, I'm going to come with this. Just to get it, give it a final kind of... Um, you know scratching it up or abrasing it but the reason why you want to use the epoxy primer is this actually creates an adhesion layer so the paint can stick to it if you went straight to the paint and didn't put primer that paint's going to come off it can flake it can be uh, easily removed maybe with a power washer so you definitely want to use the epoxy primer so what i'll do is i will sand it down and in the interest of time, I'll pause the video, I'll finish sanding this wheel, and then we'll get to the fun part of painting. We'll be right back. All right, so we've prepped the wheel, we put our little blue tape here on the valve. Um, remember, you don't just start spraying this can after shaking it, you gotta put this in the bottom and bang, you pop it down and it mixes the two products together. So I've done that. This one has a nozzle that you're gonna want to adjust. And of course, don't forget, your breathing apparatus. Either one of those, at the very least, put an N95, which I'm gonna do, um, so at least I can still talk through it. So before I start it, I look at both, you know, the max and the minimum, so I'll go right in the middle, and let's see how that does. So notice I'm just doing short little bursts of spray, and right in the middle to me is perfect. It's giving a nice, a nice spray angle. So that's all I'll do to let it get a little tacky. I actually put it here so I can roll it, right, and just make sure, Make sure I get every little nook and cranny as I roll it along. And of course, this continues to roll a little further so I can keep rolling it. And I put some cardboard down so I don't, you know, ruin my little wall there. And because I think 
I got plenty of paint for my four wheels. I actually prepped these. And on these wheels, I did use the uh, wire wheel to prep and I put some W, uh, sorry, I put some Rust-Oleum on the rust. You can see just in those corners and on the, the lug nut holes. Um, so I'll give that just a, a light sanding and then I'll hit it also. And you know, I've seen videos where, I'll take my mask off, where they spray right onto the tire. And you know, I'm not trying to do a quick half job here. You want to tape it off. It does take time. I find this method of putting a garbage bag. So you got to kind of rip the opening of the garbage bag uh, a little bit and you start taping it around your wheel. So for example here, when I taped it around the wheel, it's, it's not on the other side of the wheel. It's just there. And I use this crappy tape, but it sticks, it sticks well, right? And on the inside, I just keep ripping off little tabs and then took some scissors because this had all garbage bag on it. Just cut a hole there and just kept making it bigger until it was a good size. And you can fold up the, um, the garbage bag a bit and get your tape down and then presto. I put some cardboard on the back, you know, paper cardboard, whatever you want so it doesn't spray through. So that's going to be so easy. The better your prep, the easier the paint job's going to be. Okay, so we're gonna let that wheel get tacky. I'll hit the other ones, and then we'll hit it with the second coat of the epoxy primer. Okay, so we had enough in the can to hit these wheels one time with the epoxy primer. I didn't really need it on these wheels since those are already painted, but on the chrome, I absolutely did, and I did two good passes. I'm not looking for perfection here. I'm just looking for coverage, and um, by the time I finished all eight wheels the first wheel was ready to go so you can see this one I just did it's a little bit more wet versus these ones pretty much darn dry already and not much left but the beautiful thing here is again as I mentioned earlier you see pro shops with all these special nozzles at a hundred to two hundred bucks a pop uh, obviously the do-it-yourself doesn't have that but this has hang on doing it with my left hand you just, you don't leave the spray on the whole time. You just go get, you know, that piece, that piece. Just bit by bit in every nook and cranny. That's why I have them up this way. I don't have them on the ground where I'm spraying down because you have a higher chance of getting a drip. So I'm, I'm spraying it so the wheels are upright, you know, like they'd be on the car. And the beauty is I can roll it, right? And then get um, other spots that were on the bottom. Now we're on the top. So get a spot where you can roll it at about hip height. Makes life easier. These ones, I just rolled them on the ground. They're perfectly fine that way. All right, we'll let that dry a bit, and then we will hit this with our paint. The, the fun stuff. This is the easy part. Once you've prepped it, this is the easy part. Taping that off takes time. But in another video, I you know, literally saw a guy just painting on the rubber. He just had like one little stripe of, of uh, tape. So when you pull it off, you see all the, the paint on your wheel. Sure, it can come up over time. Maybe not. What if you're painting gray instead of black? It's going to look kind of kind of dumb. So I prefer to prep it so it's done right. Okay, a little bit of drying time. Literally just have to have it look dry or get slightly tacky. And then we're ready to put the graphite duplicolor. Okay, it is painting time. So if you notice here, we don't have to pop anything. I shook the can well. And one tip, because I sometimes have cans left over from other paint jobs. If it has a third of a can left, quarter of a can, and you used it a couple months ago, a year ago, don't use it. Because you're going to risk a couple things. You're going to easily risk from the nozzle um, having drip spray. And if you think about it, these are like, what, seven, seven ninety nine dollars a can. So if you have a quarter left, two bucks, is it worth two bucks of old paint to ruin all the work you did? No, just go get a brand new can so it's going to spray right. So for those that want to use the finger trigger, this is a great can. But you're going to have cramping up of your finger after doing this for 30 minutes or so. So what I bought uh, is one of these. Um, so this just slips onto the can, like so, 
and you just want to check it every once in a while to make sure you're not spraying this to create a drip but again because we're spraying out to the wheel versus down you know we don't want to be spraying down we want to be spraying out um it's the best so let's give a little test spray and what's nice about this trigger is you're not going to cramp up your finger and again it's on off on off And on this first go, I just want to make it tacky. So I roll it a bit. That's why I had that wheel off to the side. So again, that's just my first pass. I'm not looking for perfection. I'm just looking to get a nice light coverage and we're gonna come back and do a thicker coat for the next one. So I'll hit the other wheels and we'll come back to this one to do the second coat here in a second. Okay, there's after one coat. As you can see, that's looking real nice. And that's just one coat. We haven't even done our second coat or the clear. And then even on these ones, these ones are turning out really great. They look like they're OEM and that's going to, going to go on a FJ40. So I think that's going to be pretty cool. All right. Coat number two coming up. Okay. It's starting to get a little dark here. So I don't know if the light is showing this right, but we put a first coat of clear. I will do a second and we will let it dry overnight and I'll show you the final results. We'll have some fun tearing off the garbage bags and tape. That's always the fun part, the final reveal. So it's looking good. I think, I think the, these wheels are gonna be sick on the old school FJ40 and these wheels just look clean. I'll put that up beside a Land Cruiser um, with 18 inch so the same wheels and we'll see how it uh, compares actually these are 16 inch i correct um but i have an 18 inch land cruiser parked out front and uh, tomorrow in you know near the middle of the afternoon we'll put them side by side and we'll see how these look i think they'll be a little darker but they're going to look totally oem and clean all righty we will uh put a second coat and look at this tomorrow Okay, here we are the next day. Had plenty of time to dry for the big reveal. Oh yeah, those look great. Really good. Really happy with that outcome. So from chrome to like a dark um, graphite. Pewter, if you will. And then these... Looking good. The fun part will be pulling all this off, which will be quick. And revealing that. Let me put it beside uh, each vehicle that these will go on. So you can actually see how close we got to OEM for the Land Cruiser. And what these will look like on the FJ40. Let me roll it over there. Okay, big reveal time went on this white Land Cruiser, which has like that pewter look on the side and I actually like them better than the OEMs OEMs are a little too light it's pretty darn close and you see those actually would need a freshening up too versus that one that's nice and clean Not bad, right? But that's also 18 versus 16. Those 16s are not destined to go on this truck, but I could freshen up those wheels. And let me go pull up the other wheels and we'll see what it looks like on that FJ40 here in just a second. Okay, let's check it out. So this is a 1974 FJ40 Land Cruiser. 
and I put on some cool 33s. So that's kind of the look right now. Let's see what the painted wheel looks like. That's what it looks like in black. On the back it's black, I figured I'd just leave that. And here's what it looks like on the front. I'm kind of digging that. Yeah, I think that's cool. I just put it right up beside the other wheel. They're the same size, they're both 15 inch rims and 33 inch tires. Of course that's cool and I have a video on doing these right here um, where you polish them and polishing that, that's a big job and you, and you gotta maintain it, you gotta polish it every once in a while you know, after doing the big job. With these, soap and water baby, that's all you gotta do is just wash it. But I think the color's cool, instead of being black I think that uh, is pretty nice. Let me put it on the back here so we can compare it to the one that's black. Because of course you can use duplicate color black as well. Let's check that. I don't know, you can put in the comments below black or that graphite color, pewter color. Same exact. Well, you know what, it's not the exact same wheel. I just noticed there's like little dots on this one notice that so not the exact same wheel it's one of the differences oh yeah and there's more holes on the black one <laughs> this whole time i thought it was the same rim now you get them side by side it's not but yeah that's what the uh painted rim looks like and you know it's uh it's a really good job for being a super old rim guess what looking fresh and looking new on those uh, BF Goodrich KM2s. Not bad. All right, so if this helped you, definitely like. I would pr uh, appreciate that. When you like it, it helps it come up in the searches if someone else is looking how to paint rims or chrome rims. And uh, if you ever have aluminum rims, believe me, they're difficult, no matter how you cut it, but there are products that make life easier. So I reviewed a whole bunch of products. I took Mothers, I took some Meguiar's, I took um, the Zephyr brand. I tried Coke, Coca-Cola, because people say use tin foil and Coke. I used a bunch of things to polish these up. And uh, that video I'll put down in the description as well. So just look down in the description and uh, it'll show you great tips on how to shave some time off and let the products and you know the power tools do the work for you. You just need a corded power drill. Um, and the mother's ball, I reviewed that as well. So that's it. Thanks for watching. I hope this video helped you. That's why I post it. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna enjoy these wheels for a long time to come and they're looking fresh. All right, hope your project goes well too and definitely comment in the uh, down below if you find different products different paint besides duplicolor um, that you liked definitely share we'd love to hear about it okay take care